everybody, and welcome back to the vlog, part two. Don't, now, if you haven't seen part one with Joey and this guy, DeMeo, don't view this one. Go see the other one, part one. Anyway, um, so as I said in part one about what happened um, between Joey and Roy, DeMeo, um, they had this fight. It wasn't like much of a fight because Roy DeMeo, uh, was no punk, but Joey Bikini was a made man and an associate, which is what Roy was at the time. And this time, we're talking about this incident happened e either at the end of 1973, 74, somewhere in there when I was working full time for Joey Bikini. And we're going to get into some stories that I did for him. Some of them are kind of comical, but um, that's just the way he was. And um, so anyway, uh, you cannot raise your hand to a made man. Now, this is, this is going to be kind of difficult to talk. To, to, I don't. I thought about this video several times and how I was going to start it and finish it. So I, I, I decided right this second that I'm going to tell you guys what happened to Joey Bikini and how he was murdered. And um, he was murdered by Roy DeMeo. Now, I'm not certain that Joey got murdered because he B slapped DeMarco in front of me. And he ran like a true little B. That's what he ran like. So, but the story on the street and in law enforcement was that Joey Bikini B slapped DeMarco, disrespected him, and then Roy went to the mafia and said, this is what Joey did, I want him killed, and he did not get permission to, to kill him because he's just an associate, and Joey was a made man. Now, I'm not going to be one to profess to know about how the mafia works if you guys want to figure out how the mafia works, go to Franchisi's uh, YouTube channel or Sammy the Bull Gravano's. And I would more recommend Sammy the Bull Gravano than Franchisi's, you know. But um, so Roy DeMeo did not get permission to kill Joey. He did not. And... Um, and as I said before, the word on the street was he had an altercation with Joey and he slapped, Joey slapped him. And that's exactly what happened over me. Because the day that Roy came into um, Joey's body shop and told me to take a walk, that set Joey right off. And then Joey did what he did and slapped him, jumped over the desk and then kicked him and fell down. And, oh, it was a big, big to do. And then anyway, so um, DeMarco continued to do business with Joey and this guy by the name of Jimmy Nace. And that's how I met um, DeMarco. Uh, that's how I met Joey. It was through this guy, Jimmy Nace, that, that was into cars. And um, so anyway, we're going to fast forward now to May 20th, 1976. And as I said in part one, that this guy, DeMeo, was just a loose cannon. He, he loved killing people. He loved to murder people. He loved to cut them up. He was just a piece of, sh just a piece of crap, piece of crap. And he never much liked me since I was the one. I'm surprised he didn't kill me because I witnessed what Joey did to him and he ran out of the store. He ran out of the shop. So, anyway, uh, DeMeo was furious over what Joey did. Now, I don't know if Joey B slapping him in 74 led to DeMarco killing him in 76. Well, maybe, and they were still doing business after that, so I don't know. Um, 
if there was another incident where Joey slapped him, but none, nonetheless, um, DeMarco didn't let it go. Uh, and DeMarco and two other guys went to Joey's um, used car dealership named Parliament Auto Sales located on Roosevelt Avenue in, uh, I think it was Corona, right under the L. And um, he made he tried to make it look like a murder, but but it wasn't a murder. There was a couple of other employees there. They got tied up, and they shot Joey in the face five times. And that's something that that sadistic mother effer would do. And when the mafia shoots you. In the face. I mean, that's a, that's something that the mafia does when you're really a piece of crap and you ratted them out or you did something really bad. They shoot you in the face so that you can't have an open casket. And they shot my dear friend, Joey. Oh, he did in the face five times. And then the mafia, like, I, I don't know exactly what happened, but then they finally, then, then he started doing other things. He started killing other people. He was bringing a whole bunch of, of, of heat from law enforcement because he was killing people in his, the, the basement of his bar. And I think it was in Queens or Brooklyn. I forget where it was. And he was just killing people. He was just like, he, he would just love to kill people. So then the mafia says, okay, it's time for you to go. And when they say it's time to go, that means they're going to put one in your face. So anyway, he knew that the mafia bosses, the commission, whatever you call it, I don't know if you want to know, learn more about the mafia, go to the Sammy the Bulls channel and you learn everything there is to know. Because, and, and he's credible. And he, he you know, I, I, sort of, I sort of have a great deal of respect for, for Sammy. But anyway, so he... He hid out for as long as he could. They were all looking for him to kill him. And then his body was later found in a trunk, either in Brooklyn or Queens. And they shot him up and killed him bad. Killed him bad. If there's such a They messed his face up. They, they killed him bad. But I heard that prior to them killing him, he uh, went to confession and tried to make peace with God. Sorry, Roy. It doesn't work that way. The only way you get absolution in the Roman Catholic Church is you have to truly be sorry for what you did. And he couldn't because he enjoyed what he did. So he's burning in hell right now. Okay, so um, we're going to put some, uh, we're going to link the, uh, we're going to put the link of the newspaper article about Joey getting whacked over there at Parliament. And then, um, like I said before, I love that guy. That guy was just a great guy, a sincere guy. Um, it, it deeply troubled me all these years thinking, did Joey get killed for defending me? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm going to tell some more stories about me working for Joey. Some of them are cool. Some of them are funny. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk more about Joey. Anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Thank you and peace out.